Hello guys, today we are going to see how to choose a private engineering degree in Sri Lanka. First of all, we need to know what are the private institute offering the engineering degree in Sri Lanka. Secondly, we are going to see what are the private institute offering UGC approved degree. Third thing is what is IESL. And the fourth one is what are the basic requirement of IESL and finally how to get the associate membership in IESL. Okay, come let's go inside the video. First of all, we need to know what are the famous private institute offering the engineering degree, namely ACBT, SLIT, SNAC, SLTC, ICBT, KDU, it's mean John Kotala University, ESOFT, BCAS, NSPM, and finally NIBM. I had only mentioned the famous institute which are offering the engineering degree. Apart from this, there are numerous institutes offering the engineering degree. In all of these, only the four institutes are offering the UGC approved degree, such as KDU, SLIT, SNAC and SLTC. The entry requirement for the KDU and SLIT, you need to get 2 CS in, yeah, in local max stream in one sitting or you need to get 2 BC in Cambridge or Edexcel max stream AL. But the case for the SNAC and SLTC is a little bit different. For those two institutes are requesting 3 years in AL local max stream in one sitting or 3D in Edexcel or Cambridge max stream AL to follow the engineering degree in their institute. However, it doesn't matter where you finish the 4 years engineering degree, even if you went to the foreign, for example India, yeah most of people are going to India because it's cheap, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Dubai or Australia, it doesn't matter if you don't get the AMIE membership in IESL, you cannot work in the Sri Lanka government, but in the private sector, you can work as an engineer if you have the 4 years engineering degree. Okay, come let's see now what is IESL. The definition of IESL is the Institution of Engineering Sri Lanka. In here to get the AMIE membership, you need to have 2 CS in local max stream in one setting or 2 BC in Cambridge or Edexcel max stream in one setting as a basic qualification. If you had started your engineering degree before 2018, 1st of May, you can get the IESL membership AMIE membership directly with having 3 years in local A level max stream. If you don't have this eligibility, you need to sit an exam in IESL to get the AMIE membership. But note the point, exam will be happen until 2022 only. Okay, coming back to the point, apart from 2CS or 2BC, you need to have some basic qualification to get IESL AMIE membership. I had mentioned those qualifications below. But in foreign or private sector, they don't care about the IESL membership. They only care the experience and performance because it's only determining your salary, not the IESL membership. That's all. 